everybody, it's Jeff with Jeff's Jet Boat. And today we're gonna go over how to clean this engine bay, how to clean it safely so we don't damage anything and what you're gonna need. So let's get started. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna use is Simple Green All-Purpose Cleaner. If you buy one of these that's concentrated like this one, uh, what you wanna do is pretty much dump it down to where you got about a third left and then fill the rest back up with water. Uh, this is gonna work really good getting all the grime and stuff out of the bilge bay. Next thing you're gonna want is one of these little car wash, or these uh, wheel brushes. Works really good. You wanna kinda get a thin one, as thin as you can to get between the tight um, crevices, and also with a short handle too as well. Uh, the other thing you're gonna want, you're gonna want some water. And then the last thing is to kinda blow dry everything. I use compressed air. Uh, the other thing you can use is a leaf blower as well, just to blow the air off. You can fire the motor up. I mean, it's really not that big a deal. I just try to blow everything off when I'm done to get the debris down. Um, so the reason I'm cleaning mine today is because I finally pulled all the mat and stuff um, off my off my uh, uh, engine hatch here. And I've already cleaned it, but I'm gonna go show you again how I do it. Um, remember, these are jet ski engines. They're designed to get wet. You're not gonna hurt anything. Just like degreasing an engine, anything. It, it's fine. You just gotta watch out for a couple of certain spots, um, mainly your electronics. And so we're gonna go through that right now. So here we go. Alrighty, so first thing we need to do, we don't need a we don't need a stream, we just need a little bit of water. Okay? Now, this ain't gonna hurt nothing. Washing everything down. What I try to do is just get everything wet. And this right here also will allow you to, all the, the debris that's over here or there, it all washes here into the center. What to avoid? Well, right here in the back, this is your electronics. You wanna avoid, you wanna avoid that. You wanna avoid, whoops, you wanna avoid spraying underneath here because of your coil packs. Even though they are sealed, you have a couple of connectors. I'll show you those. One of those connectors is right here. This is for your coil. I mean, honestly, you can spray that thing with water. It is weather packed. You'll be fine. Um, spray everything down. It's not gonna hurt it. Just avoid in the back your electrical stuff. Air filter, not gonna hurt it. So we're gonna spray everything off, spray everything down. We're not gonna pressure wash it. We're just gonna use light water and that's what we're gonna do. Next, we're gonna get our degreaser. Let's put it on spray. Spray, spray, spray. And I'm spraying pretty much everything. I'm avoid really spraying any heavy um, electrical connectors. Uh, I'm spraying the sides of the fiberglass here just to get all the ick out of it. I don't know if ick is a technical term, but that's what I'm doing. Spraying the back. Spraying back here by the bilge pump. It's nasty. Next thing, I'm grabbing my brush. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna wipe all the gunk. Just give everything a light brush. I'm trying to get all the corrosion and everything, not even the corrosion, just all the stuff, man. You know, lake water drips in there, gets nasty. Come here to the back. Just trying to make it clean. The reason you want your engine bay clean is so if you get an oil leak, you know it. So that's done. Last but not least, we're gonna we're gonna hose it down. Oops. And I just use like the shower setting. And again, I'm just trying to get all the junk and crap worn down. I'm trying to get all the junk 
just to settle in the bottom so I can get it out. Now, I'll take my air compressor. Here's what I can do. There's a couple places where water, there's really only one spot where water collects. And it's gonna be right down here on your manifold. Exhaust manifold, the collector. Just a little water right in there. So, we've got that done. And by doing that, we've cleaned around. So, this, and I blew everything out, blows all the little chunks and just, just the crap that gets down in there. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hose and I'm just gonna spray these sides down one last time with water on both sides here, like that black, a lot of that stuff is from my my engine matte foam that I have removed. And that way all that black foamy stuff crap will pretty much settle, as you can see right down there in this tray right here, and it'll settle right down in there. And then what I'll do is I'll wipe that out and just try to get as much as I can. So let's do that now. So now that the water's draining out, the last step that I'm going to do before I wipe everything down is I'm gonna fire these motors up. Just gonna do them one at a time. I'm gonna fire them up, let them heat up, and let them evaporate all the water that might be in little crevices that I might not see. And just um, to just pretty much um, evaporate whatever water is left. Of course, the engine's gonna shake and rattle a little bit, so that'll, uh, that'll vibrate some of the water if it's trapped anywhere out like it's going to be a big deal these engines are weather packed from the factory so it is a boat engine uh and so we'll go from there so now we'll fire it up get them warmed up and then we'll show you the last step Alrighty, next step, just gonna grab my rags, just gonna wipe it all down. All right, one last blow of the air hose. Okay, so we got our engine bay looking really nice. Last step, WD-40. This is cheap. This works the best. So, what I'm doing with the WD-40 is I'm spraying it on everything. Plastic, it doesn't matter. Plastic, the metal, well, WD does water dispersing. That's what it stands for. It disperses the water. Puts a nice little film on everything. Keeps things from rusting. Uh, I've been doing this. I've been using this stuff on my dirt bikes for years. Years, 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 years. Keeps my engine looking clean. It also is a cleaning agent. So if you got a dirty piece, I'm a freshwater boater. So if you got a dirty piece of metal and you want to clean it up to make it look nice, this works awesome. Cleaning your tower works awesome. Any kind of metal works great. Cylinder walls, if you're going that far. You're probably not watching that video, this video if you know how to do that. Works awesome. It cleans, it cleans, it cleans. And it's super cheap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much just gonna spray over the engine, the hose clamps, uh, metal surfaces. I'm just gonna try to stay away from big electrical components like where the um, breakers are and everything else. And then that's it. When I fire this thing up, when I go boating next, you might smell it a little bit, but that's it. Not gonna hurt nothing, not gonna catch fire, completely safe. This is what does it. It's what keeps everything looking nice, keeps everything from rusting, rusting bolts, all that good stuff. So here we go. This is what I do. Thermostat block. And that's it. Not a whole lot. Come through here, wipe any of the excess off. Of 
All right, guys, so that's it, man. That's how you detail these engine compartments. Do it safely without damaging anything. Um, very easy. I do it once a year. That's pretty much all you're gonna need to do, unless it gets really bad for some reason. Um, you wanna keep it clean, and that way, if you get any oil leaks or anything like that, you can easily see it, prevent a major problem. So thanks again, take care, bye.